What's up, guys? I have um, the ZT0609 here. One of my fa I guess you could say, I don't know if it's one of my favorites, but I, I like it a lot. Um, and I like it enough that I want to put a different finish on here. The bronze is cool and it has a great the clip, matches really good. But I want to do something a little special because I like it a lot. So I'm going to take it down and and I'm going to take the anno off and then we're going to go to a new um, color after that. But I'll probably be doing this in like a series. Um, so this will be part one. Um, this is the tool that um, is required to take down the pivot um, STP tool has magnets right here and then these ones go into the holes this is made in China so alright so first I'll just go ahead and take everything I can take off I'm pretty sure from watching some other people take this down, there's going to be a lot of Loctite, so yeah, I can already see the white stuff on there. Um, this isn't too bad. It's the pivot I'm worried about, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Been really liking the action on this knife is really good, and like I said, I haven't I haven't taken it apart. I might have to wait to pull these off. So let's do the clip now. Oh yeah, I haven't even done anything with the oiled it or anything, so it's been really good. So I I'm thinking that once I do get this apart it's going to have even a better action so having a hard time getting in this Okay, there we go. All right. Put the scale over here, or the clip over here. Uh oh. Where's the other screw at? Here it is. All right. So now let's give this pivot a shot. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it by hand. We'll see. Yep, so I'm going to get some Allen wrenches. So hold on one second. All right, I got a couple of Allen wrenches. So to help get some leverage. That's not that bad. I did feel it move. Yep, it's moving. So it wasn't really hard to, um, to break the Loctite once I had some leverage on there. Like the whole knife's coming apart. I can probably do it without these now. Let's see. Yeah. Alright. Put these away. Okay, let's finish this up here. The 
believe this side is gonna come out. And what color I'm thinking about doing it? I've been, I've been looking at um, the busker. Um, well, I have a busker now, but uh, they they do some good an anodization, and you can go on their site and look at all the the different ano stuff they have. They have one called Rain Rainforest Green or something like that, and it's a uh, it's a green ano, and then you you stonewash it, and then it um. You re -anno it uh, purple, and it looks really good. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for for these scales. I think it's gonna look good. So if I can do it. Um, all right, so it's the blade. You can see I've been used, and it's not been cleaned at all. It's done a great job. Been really happy with it. There's your pivotless pivot with a bunch of Loctite in there. Put that over here. Um, all right, so I'm gonna have to take off all of the, anything metal is gonna have to come off here. So this little washer That needs to come out pretty thick there, so that's good. All right, and now let's get back to getting these things off. Okay, looks like these standoffs are free spinning and they're not going to want to come off like real easy so let me get this off. Probably gonna have to put some pliers on these standoffs. Another thing I can do with these standoffs is um, heat anodizing them bronze. I think that would be probably be cool. I don't know if it'll go with the um, the green and purple theme though, so I have to see. That's a thick lock bar stabilizer, so that's good. Um, get my little pry tool. See, this is kind of what I was thinking. The green, you see I got purple in here. So, I'm thinking that's what, that's what I'm gonna try to do. Wow. This thing does not want to come off. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna have to battle with this off camera because this looks like an extremely tight fit um, yeah so there's two there's two battles I'm gonna have to fight one with these standoffs and then the other with this lock bar stabilizer so <clears throat> gonna have to don't know what I'm gonna do for it right now <clears throat> but let me just 
clean off some of these parts while I'm here. All right, well, I'm gonna uh, pause it for now and come back hopefully when I get this lock bar stabilizer off and the standoffs off. So hopefully that won't be too painful. But I'll come back here in a second, so hold on guys. All right guys, I got the lock lock bar um steel lock bar insert out i had to use my leatherman it has a very small wedge thing but i did uh have to mark up a little but once it gets anodized you won't ever you won't see that so there it is i got and i did get the the standoffs out too um by using a one of these to hold the standoffs while I did that. So I did get them off. Um, I don't know if I'm going to anodize today, but I'm going. So this will end part one, and then part two will will be the stripping of of the scales, and then the anodizing, and and that will be it basically. So maybe a two part series, maybe a one part, or maybe a two part, or maybe a three part. I'm not sure yet, but I am going to prepare this detent ball now and wait, wait for the, um, make sure the nail polish has time to, to dry. Um, yeah, you don't want to mess up this ball. Um, so, oops. All right, so I'm going to... I don't know if etching when you etch the uh the titanium if it affects the ball um but I'm going to apply it now and then after etching I'm going to apply it again because I think one time I didn't get it on there or I did it for the etching and then um and then when I went to put it in the the um the solution it was already like eaten off a little bit so I'm going to put it on now, nail polish on now, and then after etching. But I'll put it on now and let it dry. So anyway, uh, see you guys in the next one.